Hi, I'm Bill Russell. I'm president of Lake Norman Chamber of Commerce, and we have three more outstanding Lake Norman businesses with us today. Bill Kinney from uh, Kilwins, although it says Donna. It's Donna's computer we're using, right, Bill? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we, we have Andy Cook uh, with Cook Rentals, and we also have Ken Ziegler with KS Audio Video, and, and he's here in Cornelius. Ken, I'm going to start with you. Uh, KS Audio Video, tell me, what, what kind of equipment do you carry down there at KS? Okay, we carry just about anything audio video. I mean, we, we're, we're really not a, uh, a Best Buy, so it's not like we have tons of inventory, but we basically market um, both residential and commercial products. So we'll have stuff like uh, TVs. We're direct with Sony and Samsung on TVs. We do audio for your house, so speakers, uh, receivers, subwoofers, Sonos, um, that kind of stuff. We also do direct TV dish network. So we have inventory of that. We also do cameras and surveillance, all stuff like that. So it's virtually anything you can think of um, audio video related networking. So we do, uh, you know, routers and switches and that kind of thing. And your specialty is you have the staff that sets this up and works the, the customer or client through. Yes, yes, yes. We'll go and do a uh, site consult uh, at the customer's home or at the business go over their needs and then design a system and, and then work with them on pricing and then actually do the installation, warranty it and maintain it. Mm -hmm. um, Andy, uh, Cook Rentals, you guys have locations in several Lake Norman venues uh, and you carry a wide variety. If somebody wants to uh, have an outside wedding or, or whether it's uh, dance related or you, you need, a, uh, you need to uh, rent a tiller, you, you guys have the equipment in place. Let's share a little bit of what, what Cook Rentals has in terms of all the resources you have. Absolutely. Thank you, Bill. Yes, sir. Uh, we, uh, we do cover quite a wide range of services and products. And uh, the tools and equipment are all out of our Denver location, but we regularly deliver those types of items uh, into the Cornelius, Huntersville, Davidson communities, I mean, almost on a daily basis where we're bringing skid steers and track hose and uh, all those types of equipment that you might need for your projects. Uh, but in uh, our Cornelius and Denver locations, we also do the event rentals, such as uh, the tents you see behind me, uh, tables, chairs, table linens, uh, anything you need for our gathering. Uh, Bill, you guys just celebrated your 10th anniversary just a few months ago at Burkdale Village. And um, you're not just a, a fudge store. You just fudge and candy and, and ice cream. And, and I can't go by Burkdale Village without stopping by Kilwins. Um, talk a little bit about your business and what all you carry. Well, yeah, like you say, we uh, Kilwins has... Uh, uh, we try to cook as much as we can in the store. So we have car make our own caramel and starts with caramel, caramel apples, caramel corns, and then our chocolate dipped items, uh, our fancy truffles, which they make in our, our factory in, in Michigan, all the way back to our ice cream, which is we have 32 flavors of ice cream that we carry. And it's uh, we're, we're just not a one. We, we just don't have one item. We have a variety of items for that we sell all during the year. So we're lucky that say in December when ice cream's not selling well, well chocolates are selling well. So we, uh, we kind of have a lot of items to choose from for gifts and just for everyday people stopping in and needing some ice cream. I was telling Andy Cook yesterday that I really wanted to have you three in particular on today because we're getting into the season that all three of you are really going to have some, some profitable months coming up because when you talk about your location, Bill, Burkdale Village, families are gonna start coming out. I mean, you start seeing people there on the green. Andy, you're moving into prom season and, and weddings. Oh my gosh, we're, we are at the, June is the wedding month. And Ken, you're gonna have more outdoor events and you guys have the outdoor systems set up that. Uh, put it by the pool or just your outside venues. Um, Bill, talk about, talk about um, how's business been and what do you see for the next few months? 
Well, for us, we've been blessed that we're, we're doing well. Um, I would say it kind of started back in the uh, fourth quarter of last year. We saw our business starting to track back higher. And uh, uh, it's kind of continued this year in 2021. As a matter of fact, uh, May was the largest, was the biggest sale month that we've had in our history. So we're we feel like we've kind of turned the corner and we're going to we're going to be OK moving forward. And like you say, now we're re- really into our busy season, uh, May, June, July, August. And then uh, we, we feel like we're going to recover. We're, we've recovered. Ken, you know, you may not consider audio video to be an essential service that most people do. Uh, but during the pandemic, you and I were talking, you really still had some very strong months because people couldn't go anywhere. They, they were at home. They, they weren't taking the vacations. Talk about how you guys uh, were conducting business and what you saw through the pandemic and, and into these months. Yeah, like, like you said, I mean, clearly, I mean, our business is 50 percent residential, 50 percent commercial or was before COVID. Most of the commercial shut down, but the reg- residential side, you know, did great. I mean, uh, all the folks that worked from home, they needed the, you know, internet, their networking to work just fine. All the, all the students that were home working from, you know, their, their computers, they only needed to have a robust uh, network and call us in. And then because they didn't travel, uh, people invested in their homes. They upgraded uh, their TVs. They uh, outside, put speakers. Uh, a lot of people put in pools and landscape systems, so they put the the music, the TVs, and all that out there. So, what we during that time, uh, you know, there was a lot of uncertainty. We didn't know what we were doing, but we we definitely increased our our uh, protocols to uh, for sanitizing. Uh, we staggered our techs coming into the showroom. We made sure that we had multiple meeting points so that we could do it, you know, video instead of in person. Uh, at the customer's home, we started doing uh, uh, video uh, consults, but it turned out, you know, we would send one tech out there and the, the majority of people would be two people at home and the one person would walk us through. And so if we had the mask, the booties, the gloves and did all the protocols, they were comfortable with letting us in. And, uh, and that worked out great. I mean, my techs would, uh, they, w- they would work in either a group of one or two. Uh, you know, we had buckets where we brought the equipment to the buckets, cleaned them, brought them in the house. And we brought them back out, we put them in the buckets, cleaned them, brought them back in. Uh, interviews, I mean, uh, consult at the showroom, you know, it was clearly one at a time with the mass. So we, we were safe and it worked out. Uh, Andy, yours was probably uh, the business most impacted, I would imagine, because you do set up uh, uh, for a lot of events, although you may, uh, equipment sale uh, rent, you may still have had a lot of equipment uh, leasing. But uh, talk to us about a little bit about what you saw through the pandemic and what's what's going on now with Cook Rentals, because I know you've got to be slammed. Yes, sir. It's um, 2020 was an unusual year for us, for sure. Um, out of the Cornelius location, we're doing all event rentals out of there. So we were basically, um, for the most part, shut down. Uh, we, we remained open. However, we, there was little to no demand early on. Uh, we were able to begin doing some things later with uh, tents for COVID testing and vaccine, vaccines and that sort of thing. Uh, corporate, uh, corporate tents that people wanted to expand outside to to have that space. Everybody seems to be more comfortable outdoors. Uh, we're really starting to see that turn and uh, the weddings, uh, graduation parties and the such are just back to 2019 levels. It's really incredible to see what a difference a year makes. Uh, we were truly blessed though that the tool side of the business flourished in 2020 and that uh, is still strong. And so if you've got a project we're we're still busy with that and adding inventory all the time um speaking of i've just put your uh web page up um that shows the cook rentals uh information with the locations is uh the cook rentals.com perhaps the best way to to reach you and to, to find out more information about what all uh, lines you carry 
Yeah, it's a, it's a wonderful way to get started for sure. Uh, the locations have uh, different uh, inventories, so that's why they're split up there. You can pick a location that's most convenient to you and then browse the inventory from there. It has an ability to build a quote in there, which will send, get sent directly to us and we'll respond with, those, with that information that you're seeking, including whether or not you're looking for delivery services, that sort of thing. And there's also just general ways to inquire about our services on there and to contact us. But also, if you're needing a more immediate answer, you can always pick up the phone, give us a call, and we'll be delighted to uh, speak to you and, and try to help you through whatever your challenge is and see if there's any way that we can be of assistance. Yeah, and locations in Mount Airy, King, uh, Cornelius, and Denver. Yes, sir. Uh, Bill Kenny, I've, I've, got, I've pulled up your website as well. Uh, with Kilwins uh, Huntersville, and I'm I'm looking at the chocolate fudge ice cream. I got to tell you, I haven't had breakfast, uh, <laughs> and and I do love that maple maple fudge that you got down there. That maple walnut. That's maple my walnut. Oh gosh, that's my favorite. Um, but also like that salty caramel that you got. Oh, that's our number one selling fudge, salted uh, caramel. Yeah. Um, is this perhaps the best way for people to find out a little bit about Kilwins? And, and I see you've got your family. It is, it is a family business for you. It is. My daughter, luckily, uh, my daughter graduated from uh, UNCC back in 2010, and we opened in, in February of 2011. So she came with me, and then her husband came on with us full time. My wife, Donna, she does all the uh, accounting for us does payroll, AP, accounts receivable, all those, all those things. So it is definitely a family-run business, family-owned business, even though we are a franchise. But uh, we're all involved in there. We're in in there every day, and uh, but I, I think that yeah, people can call us, and we do get a lot of calls, and we have a menu out there for people to look at for if they want to do curbside pickup and that kind of thing. But but really what captures our customers is, is the smell. Once they walk in the door, they're, they're going to, <laughs> I think they're going to get something. And, uh, but we've been blessed that, uh, you know, people, they come in and they, they order things for weddings and, and, and we, we do, we do a lot of group things, uh, per, uh, purchases and caramel apples and things at different times of the year. So, uh, uh, it's, the best things to come by the store. Yeah, and I'm I'm awful partial to the, the uh, chocolate ice cream with the wall uh, the waffle cones. Those are really good too. Do you make? Oh, they're the best. There? You make the cones on site, don't you? We do. You better believe it. Yeah. We uh, we make those cones in there, and that's part of the 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 smell about bringing people in. It's uh, it's really something. Ken, uh, I don't know that you're a family business, but your son Nathan works with, with you. Uh, he pretty much kind of somewhat runs the show over there in Cornelius as well, right? Yes, yeah, he's the day-to-day -day operations. Uh, my wife does help out uh, a, a lot. And also my nephew's working there. He's uh, purchasing an inventory. So he had a, a lawyer's degree, but he just came back and he's working for us full-time. That's great, that's great. Well, I have your website up and <clears throat> I'm, I'm assuming that would also be the best way to find out about some of the resources <clears throat> and products that you carry as well. Definitely. If you go over to the right tab under the contact, there's actually a contact form that somebody can uh, submit to us and our sales staff will get a hold of them and set up a consult. Um, they can uh, give us a call at the store and they can come and see us at the showroom right there in Cornelius uh, off on Chaton Road, just down the road from Equesta. Ken, it wasn't long ago, I walked in the showroom and I was just, just sitting down and I looked and, and I, there was this huge, big widescreen TV and I was like, gosh, I, I'd, I'd love to have something like that in my house. And, and Bill Kenny, he said, it can be yours. And, <laughs> and uh, before that, before I walked out of there, I, I owned a, a widescreen TV and, and of course got a surround system. And Ken, I don't know if I ever told you the story. I had two Labradors at the time and, and Ken and his staff put together this surround system that when the door when a doorbell would ring on TV, Abby and Gipper would run, run to the front door. <laughs> and, and even recently, even though the TV's a little older, uh, I have a I have a dog that you know when uh, there's the screen savers that come on TV and it just kind of rolls. Well, he's walking past the TV 
And all of a sudden, the big whale or, or dolphin or whatever it is was jumping out of the screensaver to a fish. And he looked over, saw that, and he turned and he was barking. Uh, just the definition of that TV uh, and the surround sound system. Uh, it's beautiful products that you sell over there, Ken. And, and again, uh, we just recently installed uh, our, our new audiovisual system in the chamber boardroom. And uh, you guys installed that for us. And that was light years over what we had. And now the rejection stream comes down. So uh, thank you very much for doing that. You're, we're all welcome. We're glad to do it. Uh, Andy, a, a lot of people may not know, but the Chamber Expo that we always have in October, uh, we could not pull that event off without you guys. You've always been there for us, so supplying things for in the last couple of years, uh, making sure that we had the electrical that could get, that could uh, outfit that particular uh, project. We are not going to be able to have the expo this year because we weren't we weren't sure we were even going to be able to mass gather. But now that we're mass gathering, I doubt we can put 800 people in a building uh, and everybody feel comfortable right now. So it's probably going to be uh, next year. But you guys are always there for the Chamber of Commerce when we have our special events, going all the way back to when we had, used to have the, uh, the two-day Lake Fest uh, program. I think you guys were always involved in that. Yes, sir. And I always enjoy doing those events and being able to network and, and see all of the different businesses in the area that come to exhibit that that at well is a big uh, plus. Uh, one thing I'll also say is I'm also a KS Audio customer. I have uh, purchased some Sonos equipment from them and, and my uh, entire family, my children especially, are uh, very pleased with uh, those items. And so that I would, I would highly recommend them for their audio and, uh, and of course, for Kilwins, it, who can resist the aroma as you walk by their store? So that's like an unfair advantage, but uh, also a customer advantage. Andy, every year, um, I would always do the Secret Santa with, with uh, Bill Kenny down. I would come down there and I would get a, well, first off, I always had to have the fudge and the, and the uh, caramel corn and everything for people to munch on during the, the dinner. But I would always get, like a hundred dollar basket of just a hundred assorted chocolates and things. And uh, my father uh, who passed a couple years ago, but my father would always make sure he ended up, you know, on a secret Santa, you could, you can maybe rotate it two or three times. He always made sure that he could go home with all that chocolate and that fudge. And, and uh, Bill, I, I tell you, I, that's uh, you, it's always a delight coming down there, especially at Christmas time and stocking up with, for all the, the stocking stuffers that I, I buy for folks. But, all right, uh, thank I, you very much. And we, we, we have a, a great staff and I, just, I tell people all the time, we just, you know, we try to do our best and, and, and our people, our, our associates love working there and they're, the girls I have over there and the making chocolates and all, they're like little artists. They, they just, they decorate the strawberries and all the little chocolate items and everything. And they have fun. And, you know, that's part of it. You know, if they love their job and, you know, they have fun, then it, it shows through for everybody. So we're, we're just really blessed with our staff and our location and just our wonderful customers. I tell you, we've, we've, we've been missing them, but they're coming back. Well, let's talk about that for a second. You're located at Burkdale Village. You've been there for 10 years. Why did you choose Huntersville for your location for Kilwins? Well, you know, we, we started looking for a, lo a location for our kill ones uh, way back, uh, 2007, basically. And then when 2008 came, we kind of took a, a halt. And we looked at locations from Mooresville all the way into the Concord area. And then actually a friend of mine mentioned, you know, Burkdale Village. He said, you ought to like, look at that. And so my wife and I went up there on several weekends, on Friday, Saturday nights, on Sundays and all. And it, it was just such a, we fell in love with the area, just the concept, that little, it's like a little downtown, the way they have it and the trees and the boulevard and all that. And we, uh, we, we love the area and, and that's, we were fortunate enough to, uh, to find a location that's, that's been wonderful for us. And now we've even signed another 10 year lease with the, with the, uh, new owner and and uh, so we hope to be there another 10 years so 
we've, we've just been blessed. Uh, Ken, I think we both could agree that, that the Cornelius location for you uh, has been uh, a great location for KS, but what, what, what was it attracted you to Cornelius in, in that particular location for your business? Well, we, we were in Concord. We were in Concord from 1994. And uh, uh, my wife had a uh, pet grooming kennel business in Concord and it was doing well. And uh, she wanted to, uh, you know, get us to do some other activities on the weekends. And so we bought a pontoon boat. Mm -hmm. And uh, so every, what, you know, every couple of weeks we kept making that trek to the lake. And at the same time, I was looking for a new facility because, you know, having audio video right next to a kennel is not the ideal scenario. So uh, we kept driving to the lake. And after a while, it was like, you know, this is a beautiful area. Um, you know, you can tell it's a robust area and we didn't want to have that one hour commute. And uh, so we started looking for land and, and, uh, and for a couple of years, then this piece of land came up and, uh, it was great that it's right in front of the peninsula development. You know, it's not like I targeted that area, but it worked out and it's right off of Catawba. So this was a great location and we, we were just blessed to be able to get it and afford it. Uh, Andy, I think you're a local product. I think you're from this area, aren't you? Well, we're originally from Mount Airy, near the Mount Virginia Airy. border. So yeah, my, um, my parents uh, opened up originally in 1973 and in the 80s, we uh, would always commute down here on the weekends and, and pier hop and uh, take, take the boat or jet ski and go from pier to pier on Lake Norman. And so we saw the potential and the growth in the area and we always thought it would be a wonderful place to open up, expand uh, our store locations. And so I've got a, my, my brother and sister-in-law operate the original location in Mount Airy, but uh, then that's when we began in the early 90s and uh, operating a store here and serving the Lake Norman community. Andy, last question for y'all. Uh, what is one thing that you think that the Lake Norman Chamber of Commerce could be doing to make it a better place for your business? Bill, you know, the, the best thing that you could do is continue to ask that question. I love the fact that this is an organization that really seeks the answer to that question. And that's evident. And that is just an exemplary, um, just a wonderful example of what a membership driven organization that this chamber is. And you have really done a, a tremendous job. I wanna commend you of how you've navigated this pandemic and really evolved and uh, made sure that the chamber was still a very useful, uh, very educational aspect. You know, we, we, it seems like when um, pre-COVID, pre we were focused so much on the networking opportunities, which are coming back for sure. Uh, you, you jumped right in there and figured out how can the chamber be of service to its membership. And that was through the, the local COVID news, which was just absolutely spot on. And it had the um, medical professionals that were local. It also had the politicians that were local and in tune with what those regulations were. And I, you just did a wonderful job of navigating that. But by continuing to ask that question, that's what I want to see. And I love it. I, I appreciate it, Bill. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andy. Ken, you and I are in Rotary together and, and you have always been involved in community programs and projects, whether it's Big Day at the Lake. Um, but again, same question. What, what can we as a business organization do to make sure your business continues to nurture uh, grow and be profitable. Well, I, I agree with what Andy said. Uh, I definitely agree with that. I think that um, you represent our area well, uh, business community, both at the state and the county level. Um, and I think those networking events that you do, uh, this area, uh, for the 13, year, 13 years I've been here is really strong in networking. And, and I have to say that both uh, Andy and, and Bill, I, I'm customers there as well. When I go to uh, Burkdale, ever since I was little, I used to have uh, Fanny Farmer chocolate. And when I go there, I see those cashew clusters every time there's a fix, you know, to do that. And, and we use Andy, we used to have, you know, before COVID, we would do uh, quarterly events at the, uh, the store in the parking lot. 
and uh, Cook Rental was uh, an important part of that, as well as we would have Fourth of July parties at the lake, and, and we would rent uh, similar structures from them at that time. So the networking is a key component. You know, like you said, I, I'm in Rotary, the Lake Norman Executive Board, um, and, it, and it's a great way to meet all the other business owners in, in this community. Bill, uh, you and your whole family are, are big uh, supporters of this community, very involved, whether it's Habitat for Humanity or any of the other countless programs, because I see your logo on a lot of things that are, that are done. You're very big in the community service, but um, retail sales as a retailer, it, it, was, it was tough you know, during the pandemic, you guys persevered through. What can the chamber do for not just Kilwins, but for what our, our retail business community to continue to make it strong? Well, I appreciate y'all's effort in, in being the voice for us small business owners here in the area. Uh, you know, both, you know, like when you had the, uh, the toll lanes or I, something that may be coming up or the minimum wage kind of things. But you guys being the voice for us to to our legislators is is good. And, you know, the opportunity like when I need something, I will go uh, like a, a particular service or something. I go to the, the the chamber members to try to use those guys, whether it's you know electrician or plumber or rentals or or audiovisual, uh, any of those things. So I think that's that's how I use it in the networking. So of course that's coming back a little bit. So you know I certainly appreciate everything you guys do for us to try to help us to promote, to, to promote ourselves out there. So thank you so much for that. And, and that's how we're going to use you. I'm excited to see all three of you support each other. It's, it's just so nice to see, you know, we, we lean on Andy when we are getting ready to have an event, we go by and see Bill and, and again, uh, get our, our uh, entertainment systems from, from Ken. So again, it's just great seeing the three of you guys working together. Uh, and I want to encourage everybody watching this video to, to please support our local businesses. These businesses, uh, all of our businesses, uh, the job that you say uh, by going out and buying local and supporting local might end up being your own. So again, uh, everybody have a great weekend at the lake and thank you so much for what you do. And thank you for being involved in the Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Bill.